What's going on, YouTube? Woo! Huh. Maybe you should. Here, Cichlid Man and I, and welcome to the fish room. Welcome to our quick vlog for you guys today. Don't really have a bunch to talk to you guys about. I got some works to do outside in uh, terms of mowing my lawn. Another beautiful, gorgeous Washington day, um, which in this time of year we take with the best regards because they don't come often. We get a lot of rain. I don't complain because I, I still love the weather, but um, you know, to get a beautiful day is awesome. I believe. But this is the first time you guys have ever seen me wear a hat. Got a cool hat the other day. Under Armour, loving it. Um, they're not a sponsor, by the way. But yeah, we're doing some water change action. Did about a 50% change on the 150. Uh, done draining water out of here. I don't know what this is, about 30% on the 225. Um, I kind of want to walk you guys through my goals for the week and what I want to do uh, consistently for my tanks for the weeks. So we're going to start here with Hulk's tank. Water change wise, I want to perform three 30% changes on this dude's tank every week uh, for a total of about 90% water change. Um, it's not the equivalent of a 90% water change, but three 30s is 90. Um, and so three of those, one of those we're going to do a gravel vac on. Both my 75s, we're going to do, be doing two 50% water changes. One of those we're going to do a gravel vac. Um, this system, we're going to be doing two days of water changes, meaning we're going to do about a 50% and 30% like we're doing today, um, where I do a gravel vac on this tank. And then the next day, we'll do a small gravel vac on this tank, a small gravel vac on the 150, uh, meaning we're not going to change a whole bunch of water. But then we'll do about a 50% change out of this tank without having to do a gravel vac because we're doing it today. So we'll be doing two water changes, so 50, 30, and then probably another 50, and then maybe another 20% on that tank just to get the gravel clean. But that's that's what I, that's kind of my goal in terms of my water changes. You know, schedule is still busy and stuff, so it doesn't exactly you know always line up exactly how I would like to. I would love for it to do that. I'm very. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Routine oriented guy, so getting myself on a routine um, is what I'm trying to do. Like I said, it's difficult. But as of today, Tuesday, I'm basically caught up on my water changes. Um, so things are looking great. Enjoying life, loving life. Got Mr. Uh, Pocket Hose, which is still doing amazing, by the way. This thing is doing awesome. I love it. Super easy to store. Um, doesn't weigh hardly anything which is nice because the old hose that I had to tote around was just a pain in the butt. Um, today we are pulling the divider and leaving the divider out of Azul and Blondie's tank. Um, just going to give them a trial run to see how exactly they're doing. I don't expect them to be, you know, go back to trying to kill each other, but if they do, what are we going to do? We're going to put that divider back in because last thing we want is for one of those guys to, uh, or one of the guy and girl, whatever. To, uh, I just don't want something to happen to him. So if the divider is necessary, the divider will be put in. So we'll catch you guys in a little bit doing other stuff. Not going to try and make today's vlog a little bit uh, way too long, I guess. You guys want to know something that never, ever, ever, ever gets old? Feeding a swarm of fish. Sorry if that made you dizzy. I always love feeding just a swarm of fish because how they... It's just awesome to just... I don't, how fun is that to watch? Just have them just go at it. Something, no matter how long I've been in the hobby, no matter how many fish I've kept, no matter how many fish I've grown up, no matter how many fish I've fed, still is always, always fun to watch. Uh, and I'm sure you guys can relate to that. Um, just feeding a swarm of fish and just... Craziness. Figured we'd get Spike some camera time tonight. He's looking incredible, so I might as well show him off, right? He's looking awesome. I'm going to shut up. You guys can just look at the fish.
Next up on the fish spotlight for tonight, Azul and Blondie. We pulled the divider on their tank. They seem to be doing just fine. Very glad. Thumbs up to Azul and Blondie for uh, resolving their differences. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but uh, my last water change, their spawning, timing of it, something flipped a switch, and then uh, he just was not having a very good day. Luckily, he didn't do any harm to her. She's basically all healed up. Got some little scrapes and stuff that she's got to, you know, work on. But they seem to be doing really, 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 really well together today. Uh, which is awesome. Thumbs up to Azul and Blondie. If you guys are watching this video, thumbs up. Because Azul and Blondie are, uh, you know, liking each other and having a good time again. Back to good old times before he tried to eat her face off. Seems about right. And as I drop them all over the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to witness is a fish feeding like never before. Feeding the fattest fish on YouTube. <laughs> Last but certainly not least is Mr. Hulkaboomerum over here. We'll get him some camera time for you guys before we get into today's vlog. Hopefully it's not too crazy long. It should be a shorter vlog for you guys. Um, by the way, let me know. You like the long vlogs? You like the short vlogs? Well, let me know because I have fun doing both of them. Um, have a blast with you guys no matter what we're doing. Hanging out in the fish room. All you 2,800 people that I can hold in my right hand right here. Yes, I work out. But uh, let's check out Hulk and then we'll get you guys out of here and you guys can go do whatever. Um, unless you've got more free time, go down in the description below at the end of this video. I've got the link to last video if you didn't see it, and a link to a random video if you just want to watch something random that I'll post in there. I'll usually try and find something random, a video that I like, and uh, I'll put a link in there. That is, if you do have a little bit of more spare time, you want to hang out with Mr. Cyclobano9, uh, there should be annotations on the screen somewhere if you're watching on your computer um, to those videos as well. That way it's a little easy for you. And by the way, those annotations, all you got to do is click on it and it'll take, take you exactly right where it says. Um, just like the one that says, click here to subscribe. If you're not subscribed already and you see that annotation you want to subscribe, all you got to do is click that button. Subscribe to my channel and you'll see the next time I post a video. But uh, I really, really, really did have a fantastic day off today. Back to work tomorrow. Um, got a bunch of yard work done. Basically, first time this year I've been able to do yard work. It's been beautiful. Um, got a bunch of stuff done. Feel really accomplished for it. Um, had a nice, relaxing, awesome day. And of course, spending any time with all 2,800 plus of you guys um, is always going to be a great day because there's no such thing as a bad day uh, when I get to spend time with my YouTube people. But in the world of Forest, the world of Sickle Man 09, the world of me, hopefully what comes through in my videos is there really is no such thing as a bad day. Every day is a great day. And uh, hopefully you guys can take that to heart because that's really how I try and live my life. And I, you know, it's really how I feel everybody should. Um, just have a fantastic day every day and try your best to make every day your best. Because that's what it's really all about. Check out Mr. Umby in there. Living with the beast. I don't think at any point in time he's going to eat him. Um, they seem to just cohabitate beautifully together unless, you know, he's starting getting bigger and he might just, Hulk just might beat the crap out of him. Once he sees him as a threat, but... If you're not subscribed already and you like the video, hopefully I can earn your subscription. You can click that subscribe button. If you like the video, there's a thumbs up down there. Hit it. It lets me know that you liked it. Of course, if you got anything to say regarding this video, hit the comments down below with some words or whatever. The more random, the more likely I might say it in the next video because I like random stuff. That's how I am. That's how these videos are. If you've got any questions for me, this is a lot of words to say in a short period of time. Cyclicman09 at gmail.com. You can ask me any question under the sun. I will try my best to answer it, even if I don't know the answer. And if I don't know the answer truly, I will tell you, I'm sorry, I don't know. Pi to the thousandth degree. Sorry, just doesn't work. I tried, I got 900 in, and I passed out. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you guys tuning in again and again and again continuously. Azul and Blondie, happy to see them back together and cohabitating. Their little short-term separation system may have worked. Um, definitely going to still be keeping an eye on them just in case because you never know what can happen. 
But again, had a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me on my awesome, fantastic day. We will see you guys next time. By the way, I did get two Q and A's up, uh, not uploaded, uploaded. So uh, you guys might have already seen them. You might not have seen them. Um, if you haven't seen them, I'll put a link to the Q and A playlist up there somewhere, and uh, you can go check all those Q and A's out. And uh, I think I'm done talking for the night. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go probably back to YouTube and watch some more videos, right? Because that's what I do in my spare time. Other than changing tanks and hanging out with you guys and playing with my son, YouTube. See you guys later.